There is a popular corporate dilemma mocking senior management for being afraid to train their employee. Probably know the comic, it meets two executives and one of them tells the other, what if we train them and they leave? And the other says, what if we don't? And they stay. Training your employees should be one of the most important things you spend time and attention and focus on during your business hour. Hi, I'm Mario Peshev and today I'm going to tell you why should businesses invest in internal trainings, workshops and sessions. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about internal workshops and hackathons and events like these, including some internal seminars and lectures led by executives and senior management for the types of activities that most of your employees are probably not aware of. The more your organization grows, the less time each of your employees spends with senior management. They meet with their team, they meet with their team leaders, probably project managers or team leads. They probably see the executives in the building or they may even work kind of on the same floor. But it doesn't mean that they're working with them day to day. They don't know what's going on. They don't participate in their meetings. It's not something that they really know about. And again, the more your organization expands, having the executives here in the middle and the organization expanding, people are getting further and further and further away from leadership. Even if you post some of that information, even if you're a transparent company, sharing this on your company website and blog, the more the company grows, the harder it gets to actually keep people on the same page with you on everything else that's happening within the company. So here are my top six reasons on why internal workshops and internal led trainings and seminars are important for that reason. Number one, let the top employees shine. What do I mean here? Many of your proactive people may not have an opportunity to participate and help out and give feedback and, and actually speak to senior executives. So you may have uh, an unpolished diamond sitting in there doing a regular generic job, someone who has the potential and the opportunity to actually help you, the uh, opportunity to think and help you refine your business process and give critical feedback and, and basically help you move your organization forward. By organizing those executive and senior management led trainings and workshop and sessions, you help bring those people closer, both the extroversial type which are going to ask questions on site and also the introversial which are going to fill out uh, follow-up polls and quizzes and feedback forms and all other types of reviews. So this is a great way to motivate your people by also bringing the best out of them to you and, and kind of syncing with some of the engaged people and making them even more engaged and letting them help your process move forward. Number two is build a solid business foundation. Many a time, if you have hired lots of people recently, there may be a disconnect between your oldest employees and the newest employees. And over time as well, the process changed. So neither of both groups actually knows how to move forward and how has the process changed everything else within the organization. The best way to do that is organizing those regular sessions and of course by regular, especially when it comes to business model and, and all that, this may be twice a year, I'm not talking about every week, but the rest of the workshops and internal sessions could be once a month or once every two weeks or anything else more regular just to keep people in touch. But still just having some, some of those quick recaps, actually meeting management with everyone else and saying, hey, this is what we did over the past say six months or the past year, this is how we moved forward, this is how the process changed, here's what still matters to us, here's what customers said, here's kind of the feedback, here are some of the mistakes that we do and the reasons why we did them and here's what clients said a year ago or two years ago and here's the disconnect and here's the problem that management is trying to solve. This is actually building a solid business foundation for your entire team. And the reason I'm saying foundation is because you're going to have some MBAs and you're going to have some uh, lower level employees, interns and entry level folks which are just starting out. And this is fine, but the more you can increase the bottom line, the more you can increase the base foundation of business skills that your organization has, the easier would it be to just take this foundation and start building on top of it without spending the time to explain everything to the kind of weakest link in your organization simply because you're increasing the baseline for everyone within the organization. 
And this is an extremely powerful move. Number three is disclosing internal data which isn't meant to be public. There are folks in your organization that are probably following the company, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn accounts, or Instagram if you have one. They are probably following the website's blog and maybe even some press release. But most of the important information in-house is kept privately. And being open enough, being transparent enough to share some of this information with your team, even stuff like how much your team grew, how much your company's portfolio grew, feedback from customers, and what are you trying to do, and what is the long-term roadmap, something that's obviously not public because it's confidential for within the company. Sharing all of that with the team is increasing the brand awareness and increasing the loyalty for your team towards the organization. And again, this is another great investment that's worth putting time and attention on in order to keep your people more motivated and more excited and more uh, actually aware of the fact that the company and the business is moving in the right direction, is not stout, is not sitting in the same uh, place, and at the same time gather feedback for some of the oppor opportunities that you may have to improve this process further. Number four, increase employee loyalty. Being open, being transparent, making management with uh, everyone else in the hierarchy and meeting executives more often, this brings some form of loyalty because most, especially, and I'm kind of excluding the, some of the large corporations without well-known leadership, but employer branding is important. If we're talking about companies like Google and Microsoft and, and Facebook, everyone knows who's sitting on top of those companies and just meeting those people is extremely exciting. If you have a company of 200 to 500 people, it's also very likely that you know who has founded the company and, and so on. But actually meeting those people in, in person, this is actually increasing and improving morale and it's kind of helping some people shine again in different ways and just, just be a bit more pumped up until the, the next session. This is also one of the reasons why conferences exist. You just meet with different people in your community. You get super pumped up. You want to get some job done because you see that everything is moving rapidly and the, the industry is evolving and a lot is going on. And then you get back to work and you keep essentially crushing through your backlog. Reason number five, stress on your top goals. There are some common sayings again in security stating that security isn't a one-off operation, it's something that has to be reminded and repeated and practiced on a daily basis. This is why security conferences and actually some security teams are trying to do monthly or at least quarterly sessions with the team, just reminding them of the most common threats, the most common issues that companies face in terms of security and keep security top of mind. This is also a rule of sales that you probably know, but meeting a brand's team or just stumbling upon a brand seven to 13 times helps you immensely to close a customer because you are now top of mind for the customer when they're thinking of that specific problem. Compare that with someone who has never heard of your name or just seen it once or twice for whatever reasons uh, and, and something that you basically stumble upon every week, sometimes on Twitter, on the website, on Facebook, a press release, a review, a webinar, you become top of mind. That's why those internal sessions help you employ this knowledge to your team so that it stays top of mind for as long as possible. So that those core foundations are employed as a process that keeps being important to your team and they don't really decrease the priority due to the other day-to-day -day activity. And just projecting those business goals to the rest of your staff can really help you shine and improve this business foundation that we were talking about earlier. Number six is training and advancing your staff. The more you spend with internal workshops and sessions and trainings, the more you keep improving your staff further. You get them better, you get them get the job done faster, fewer questions, less back and forth, less communication overhead, less everything. So the better your employees, the happier they are, the more job gets done, the more you can keep paying them more and satisfying them more because their productivity is just on the rise and everyone is happier as a result. So this is it main reasons you need to start organizing workshops and seminars or keep doing them on a regular basis in your organization. Any reasons not to? Let me know in the comments.